Is the Max USA Super Roofer a good fit for you? Let's find out. Now listen, I'm no roofer, but I am friends with the best roofer in the world, and his name's Bubba. This is the Max USA CN 445R3, and it's their coil roof nailer. Uh, this shoots a variety of nails in between three quarter inches and one and three quarters of an inch. We use this in a couple of different uh, scenarios. So let's dive in, take a look at the details of this nailer, and then we'll use it. Then we'll come back and talk about pricing, warranty, and what we think of it. This Max USA Super Roofer, it's the model number CN445R3. And first thing, this thing is very light. Now, obviously this is a pneumatic tool. You see the air fitting here on the back. Um, so therefore you don't have a lot of things like um, batteries and flywheels to weight this down. So very light tool, we'll weigh this here in one moment. Uh, the other thing, when we talked about pneumatic, that I love about this tool, there's a few things going on here, right here at the back of the tool. Uh, number one, it comes with this swivel fitting, and it's just not just a single pivot fitting. You can see here, uh, no matter what way you turn this, it will pivot in the way that's going to keep you out of entanglement. So really cool design here and built right onto the tool. So love to see that. You're not fishing for a pivot or a pivoting uh, fitting. It's right there out of gate. You add your quarter inch fitting and, and you're good to go. The other thing is just in front of this, is a filter element and that's going to keep contaminants because you know i know you you treat this just with the best uh, of the best right you put this in a velvet case when you're done uh, when you're on the roof you lay it on a nice uh, velvety towel no these things get banged around thrown around your best friend uses them and swears he's going to take the best of care and we know how that goes anyway so this filter element in here not only traps the contaminant but there's also something that happens when you disconnect the airline and that is there's like a self purging system in here that when you disconnect that airline it blows debris back out of this hole right here on your quarter inch inlet so not only is it catching it it also tries to purge it out as well so really cool design in there and love to see that there's lots of people that swear by the max usa nailers because of that system and we're going to take that apart and look at it here in a moment because there's also an o-ring in there so i love to see that o-ring not a gasket that's going to come apart or not even a non-gasket with just some type of you know uh, nylon sealant around the threads now this will shoot uh, from three quarter inch to one and three quarter inch coil nails, 15 degree coil nails. So a really cool system here for the coil nails for the different depths or different lengths of nails. Uh, this is for the three quarter inch, so it's all the way up. So your three quarter inch, your seven eighths and one inch. You can pull this up, it's kind of spring loaded and twist it and it drops down to the second level and that's gonna shoot your one and a quarter inch and one and a half inch. And then for your full one and three quarter inch, again, quick turn and lift, and now it's down here at the bottom. So very easy to adjust this. You're not pulling it out and putting it in a, like a little shelf system or anything. It's just a quick pick up, turn, pick up, turn, and adjust to where you need to. So three different settings for those different lengths of nails. Also, this door just kind of holds this in. There's not two different things you have to do. Once you open this up, you get to your firing mechanism, uh, you load your nails, you open the door. Everything's done right there with that bolt style system. So you just pull this down and I love to see this is all metal as well, except for this. And this seems to be still nice and sturdy plastic. Everything else in here is metal. Again, this is all nylon or plastic here, uh, but very tough built system. And if we look down in there, we can see a magnet and that's going to ensure that number one, when you're loading the nails, going to hold that in place while you close everything up. Also, it'll, it will ensure that you're even shooting down to the last nail. And we have a full uh, round head firing pin as well. That's going to keep any you know, cupping happening uh, from the nail heads. You'll see that it shoots nice and flat. Now they also have a tar resistant nose here uh, that is removable, very easy to remove if you need to, uh, but they say it's up to eight times more resistant to tar than uh, most of your typical noses there. So you're not going to get that build up right here, but if you do, very easy, take your five millimeter hex, 
take out this screw right here, this Allen screw, and you can remove that. In fact, let's go ahead and do that. Obviously, you want to disconnect your air, pull out that single Allen head, pull this out, clean it up, whatever you need to do, and then replacing it. You, all you need to do is make sure that that little tongue right there goes into that groove, and now you can put your screw back in. And that's less than a minute. Now, obviously, you might take some time cleaning it up, but we're done. On the trigger here, we have a lockout where we can lock that trigger out. Uh, and then we can just flip that back and now we have our trigger again and we can rapid fire by holding the trigger down and just bumping um, or we can just sh shoot one at a time as we want to by pulling the trigger obviously with the tip depressed uh, here's your depth adjustment right here very easy to adjust this so turning it clockwise is going to give you a firmer shot or a deeper shot and turning it counterclockwise is then going to kind of back off that pressure or back off that power. So very easy to do that with, with one finger, one thumb, whatever you're using there to adjust the depth of the nail. And then as you're throwing and banging this thing around up on the roof, uh, we have metal guards here that's going to protect that tool no matter how it lands there to keep it, again, it, it from getting all, all beat up. So we got some protection here, protection here as well. Now, if we look at the underside of this tool, get a little help for those uh, novice roofers like me. Uh, so you have an adjustment here that's like a shingle adjustment. So obviously you roofers that have been doing this, you don't need this, uh, but you can actually set this and adjust this again with your five millimeter uh, Allen or hex tool and be able to adjust that foot. And then you can line it up with the bottom of that shingle and that's gonna position that nail where it needs to go. Now, as far as uh, size of this tool, uh, from front to back, you're looking at about 11 inches here to the exit of the air. That doesn't, doesn't include your fitting. Obviously, you can run whatever fitting you want to. And then it's about 10 and a half inches tall, a little less than 11 inches. Um, as far as the width on this head here, about four inches wide. So not a huge tool, still nice and compact and nice and light. So you're looking at less than six pounds, five and three quarter pounds, five pounds, 11 ounces uh, for this tool. Obviously there's no nails in there, no airline hooked up, but still less than six pounds to carry this tool around. So as I mentioned, we're gonna take this apart, but let's first fire a few nails and, uh, and then we'll take a look what's in there. All right, so we've got a, a small setup here. Uh, we'll shoot a few shingles in. Just what everybody wants to do, right? A roof over, right over some uh, shingles, something you should never do. But anyway, uh, just let's uh, try it out. We'll shoot through two layers of roofing, some tar paper, some felt. Um, so uh, let's get started here. So first, what we're going to load into the nailer is actually something that's probably not that common in roofing unless uh, somebody's specking for it, especially in some maybe some high moisture areas. Well, here in Florida, um, sometimes that's the case. These are stainless steel uh, ring shank nails there. I believe they're one and a quarter inches and uh, they're 0120 nails. And so let's install these. We were actually using this on like a landscaping project. We'll show you some of that footage as well. Um, we were kind of installing like a, uh, a house siding or cover, if you will, um, for some landscaping. And so that's why we were using some stainless steel to keep the um, pressure treated from acting to or reacting to the, the metal in a, like a galvanized, something like that. So anyway, uh, very easy to install this, although the magnet is not going to attract to stainless steel. So that's why you don't see it just kind of sucking in there. But still, even so, not hard to put these in and uh, close this up, close this up, and we're good to go. So very easy to install those nails. And now let's get started. And again, I can bump fire. Or I can depress and shoot as well. And again, you see there's no cupping going on in these nails. Nice and flat shots uh, from that full round pin that's driving those nails. And one more shingle.
And again, you can go about as fast as you want. So I lifted pretty early on that one, but as far as all these others, drove very nice. You see what I'm talking about here with the shingle guide. You can actually set it to where you're putting your nails in the right spot, depending on which shingles you're using. So you can slide that up there and then pull the trigger. But make sure you set it in the right place before you tell somebody to use that. So first, let's uh, listen as we relieve this air pressure. And I'll explain what's happening. Although this is a safety relief coupling here so it's not going to do the same as your typical coupling because when I pull this back it's going to actually bleed out the air out of the hose anyway but also the air in the tool now when you release that so what was happening is it's actually purging the air backwards out of the tool and out of this inlet here now normally you would see that exhaust because the, the hose would actually pop off but this was a safety relief coupler so it doesn't give you that same effect of that actual fitting popping off. But still what's happening is it is reversing course and pushing anything out the exit here or out the actual typical inlet. Now let's take a look here. So I'm going to back this off. And again, you're seeing that big black O-ring there. I love to see that. Love to see that. It seals the, the best of anything. And then you see a huge filter here. So you can see that if anything does get past here, you drop this in the dirt or whatever, you hook up your coupler and the coupler's full of dirt or dirt dauber's nest, something like that. Uh, this is going to catch all that and not let it travel into the tool. This can be replaced as well, but I'm just going to take this off and let's have a look. You can see there, uh, not really any dirt. Let's, yeah, not much in there. There's a little bit coming out. But again, that's going to trap everything. And if you're putting oil in it, that's even going to better going to filter out any of that particulate right there and keep that in the filter and not traveling through the tool. So love to see that. Now, if you've been around our channel for very long, then you know we're pretty big on cordless power tools, impact wrenches, drills, impact drivers, grinders. You name it, cordless is definitely growing. However, there's still a select group of tools where pneumatic just works better, especially when you're looking for lightness or adding less heaviness, if that makes any sense. Uh, so, and that's one thing with this coil nailer. There's no flywheel to have to deal with. Uh, there's no any other big mechanisms that have to do with power, like uh, batteries, things like that, brushless motors that are going to weigh a tool down. We have basically a diaphragm system in here, uh, the nailing system in here, and then a pneumatic hose. Yes, you have to have a hose. Yes, you have to have a compressor. I get it. Those are expensive items as well. But as for uh, a tool like this where you're moving around on the rooftop, it does make sense to have a pneumatic tool. And this is a great nailer. Love the swivel system, love even more the filter system that's built, built into here. And then the performance does very well in the couple of jobs that we used it on. It performed flawlessly. Now, pricing on this is $240 and you get a five-year warranty. Now, we'll have a link in the description if you want to check that out. And be sure to keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and even TikTok. Hey, if you don't mind, would you hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't done so already? And by all means, if you hated our video, well, give us a thumbs down. But would you let us know in the comments why? Have a great day and keep smiling.